Bring it out. That was my great grandfather. Bring it out. No, 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 no. As long as you participate in, in, in the destruction of our people, which you are today, buying fireworks, guess what? Your blood, the blood is on your hands. Our ancestors' blood is on your hands. Read what you got. Isaiah 14, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. The scripture said prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, for the sins of their fathers. All my black brothers and sisters that's walking in here buying fireworks, you're not thinking about George Floyd. Bring it out. Bring it you're up. not thinking about Breonna Taylor as she sat in her house while the cops Tits. came in and viciously gunned her down. Bring it out. And then charged her boyfriend for murder for protecting you, black woman. Bring it out. They not, you're not thinking about them. You're not thinking about Trayvon Martin, who was gunned down in the streets for buying Skittles for walking home out. as you buy fireworks. You're not thinking about them, bro. You're not thinking about your people who've been suffering. Your sister right here, you getting out the car. Don't you know your, your ancestors was raped, robbed, and privileged? I have you out the What's up? Yo, give me Titus 3 and 3. You know what I want. The brother said, have we popped the firecracker? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. But let's read what the let's read what the Bible says. What? Come here, come here, bro. We ain't arguing with you. Come here. We want to talk. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Listen to this. Titus chapter three, verse three. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Read it again. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. The scriptures say we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Cause what? When our when our parents was raising us. They didn't know about Christmas was not in the Bible. When I, you said what? Both of your parents are pastors, but guess what? Just like both of your parents were pastors, they didn't listen. They didn't, why did they didn't show you that Christmas ain't in the Bible? Have your have your pastor, mom and daddy taught you where Fourth of July is in the Bible? No, I did not. No, I did not. Why? Because the Bible says, do not celebrate Christmas. Yes. Give me Jeremiah 10. Did you get a Christmas present? Yes, I did. But once I learned that the truth was going to set me free, did I celebrate Christmas? Hell no. Hell no. Read it again. Yeah, Dad, I'm, you're right. You're right. I'm teaching them the truth. That's right. I'm not teaching them destruction. Read what you got. Titus chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts. And we was deceived, just like you right now. You are deceived, bro. You are deceived. You fighting for your oppressors. When that white man got his neck, when that white man got his hand on your neck, <laughs> later on in life, when he gunning you down, your your family members down, don't come out here talking about Black Lives Matter. Bring it out. Don't come out here talking about we got to change. Bring it out. No, you the reason why your people getting gunned down right yes, now. Bring it out. You walking in there, you the reason why your people getting shot in the streets every single day. Teach. You think these people love you? These people don't love you. They coming out here to sell you, uh, sell you produce and and, uh, and uh and works, but where are they living at? Are they living next door to you? Yeah. Hell no. Read what you got. Titus three verse three. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So the, the brother was right. Yeah, we did celebrate these things at one time in our foolishness, in our ignorance. But now all of a sudden we got the understanding, guess what? It says come out of her and don't be partakers of her sins because there's a judgment for what these people did to us. There's a judgment for what they did to you, bro. What they doing to you today? Come here right quick. Come holler at me. There's a judgment for this. This is not a laughing matter, bro. You see the COVID going on right now. It's not a laughing matter, bro. You seeing our people on the news, seeing here every day, somebody, another name getting shot. You see this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How y'all brothers doing? We doing good. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. What's up? What's your name? Uh, T, man. Taran, man. Taran? Yeah, Okay, yeah. why you out here, Taran? Oh, I brought my in-laws out here, man. I brought my relatives out here. Okay, for, for what? For what reason? Oh, I think some fireworks, man. For some fire fireworks? Yeah. Now, where was you at, Taran? Where was your ancestors at? July, July 4th, 1776. Where were your people at? Oh. Think about it. Give me that in Hebrews. Hebrews 11. Huh? Hey, I agree with y'all, bro, 100%. Okay. Yeah, I agree with 
Okay, but understand something. What are you doing about it? A lot of people agree with us 100%. Oh, I try to teach people to the truth. So if you're teaching your people the truth, you gotta walk in how you talk. Yeah, yeah, so if you know the yeah, truth, I'm not gonna bring my I'm not gonna bring my mother-in-law to no buy no fireworks. Well, well, my in-laws, you know they, they I'm not gonna bring know. my in-laws, my yeah. mother, my yeah. children. Yeah. Ain't nobody, ain't no fire popping fireworks on July 4th. Right. No day. Yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. Read what you got. James chapter four, verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, said, to him that knoweth to do good, you said you knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush this. And doeth it not to him, it is sin. He said to him that knoweth to do good, and you don't go through with that thing, he said that's counted to you as sin. That's yeah, counted right. to you as breaking God's laws. Yeah, you don't want to be in the midst of sin, do you? Right, right, right. What that James? That's yeah, James 4, 17. You don't want to be in the midst of sin, do you? Do you know what sin is? Oh, yeah. What sin? Well, when you commit a, something that God said, you know, he told us not to do. Okay. Disobedience. Okay. Can, can everybody on the, in the, on the planet sin? Uh, can everybody on the planet see him? Well, you know, if you do something that he said not to do. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. First John 3 and 4. Watch this. Yeah. First John 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. The Bible says if you commit sin, you break God's laws. God's laws is only given to a certain group of people on earth. That certain group of people on earth happens to be the Israelites. Now, who are the Israelites today? That's my next question. Oh, yeah. Who are they? Well, no, we one of the tribes, twelve tribes. We are one of the tribes, twelve tribes. But who are the rest of them? Right, here, right, here. right there on the sign, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Put they make up, up the twelve tribes of Israel. Give me that thing in Micah. It says hey. he oppressed a man and his heritage. I agree with yeah. you. Listen, look at this, bro. You can't celebrate the Fourth of July knowing that this happened to your ancestors. Over 77 million Native Americans was destroyed for the, for the white man and the white woman right there, for them to have ability to sit in there and laugh and set up a tent and, and sell you fireworks and celebrate this day. 77 million Native Americans were destroyed for them to wake up and come and celebrate this thing. Read what you got. Watch this. Micah chapter 2, verse 2. And they covet fields. And they covet fields. They covered the whole United States of America. Teach. How did they know that? Because they had our history book. Right. They had this book and said, okay, you know what? It's some, it's some other land around there oh, oh, across the sea. We need to go explore that land. How the hell you discover a land and somebody's here? Right, right. Yeah. How do you discover a land and somebody's here? Huh. They did. <laughs> Read what you got. And they, I'm sorry, and they covered fields and they, covered fields. And they take them by violence. Said they do what? And take them by violence. How did the so-called white men take the United States? By, by, by. by violence. That's right. By violence. My sister, you walking in, you celebrating the destruction of your ancestors. You are literally celebrating the destruction of your, you watching our people celebrating the destruction of our ancestors. And the Bible is history recording it. Yes, right. It said they did what? And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. Uh -huh. So they oppress a man and his house. He said they oppress a man and his house. Oh, yeah. Are they not oppressing us right now? Oh, yes. In our house. Yes. This land was given to our brothers and sisters for our inheritance. Jeez, and we got the audacity to go in here and buy fireworks and laugh and play and get drunk and get high and whore out our sisters later on tonight. We lost our minds, man. We gotta come back to who we are and think about what we doing. This ain't no laughing matter. That's why they don't respect black men to day. Bring it out. Because we everything is a goddamn joke. We always laughing. That's why they don't respect y'all, man. That's why they don't respect us. Because we won't even stand up. We you watch George Floyd get choked the hell out for eight minutes. Bring it out. And you come out here and buy some damn fireworks. Bring it out. Our people, man, we got to come back to who we are according to the Bible. We the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Blank, blank, period. Those people over there, uh, who are the Jews today? Who call themselves Jews today? What nationality are they? They're Europeans. The same people in there that's selling you uh, fireworks right now. The same people that are selling you fireworks have took your heritage. 
and they calling themselves Jews. The praise of the Lord. Give me that in Revelation, bro. Yo! Free. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Say he know the blasphemy of these white devils that say they are Jews. Say they are the praise of the Lord, because that's what Jews mean. Say they are the, are, are the Jews on this earth. You not the damn praise of the Lord. Are you crazy? Bring it out. All the death and destruction that you have caused on this planet, and you think you're the praise of the Lord? Read it again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. What? Are the synagogue of Satan? Christ called y'all the synagogue of Satan. Christ called y'all the children of Satan. That's who you are. And our people don't even realize these people have been slapping you up and down your whole life. And all of a sudden today you wake up and you forget about the oppression that you've been in. Teach. All of a sudden you wake up and you forget that this man has withholding good jobs from you, withholding grocery stores from you, Teach. withholding water from you, put you in jail, education. under the jail, giving you uh, the worst education system. Our, our young brothers, our, our young babies are in school with no damn air conditioning. No, with the, with the worst books. But all of a sudden today, we forget about that. Teach. We forget about that for the sake of buying our kids, teaching our kids lies. And I'm going to show you how hypocritical you parents are who are teaching your kids to celebrate 4th of July. You're telling them, you telling them, teaching them a lie, then you turn around and tell them, don't lie to mommy and daddy. Teach. Teach. Then you tell them, tell them, always tell the truth. Well, won't you start by telling the truth? Teach. Give me John 32. Bring it out. Won't you start by telling the truth? You hypocritical, uh, we are hypocritical people. Teach. Read what you got. John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We got to start telling our kids, our babies, the truth. That's when they going to start telling us the truth. But we not even thinking along those levels, man. That's why they don't respect us. That's why they come out and set up, set up tents in our hood, selling us damn fireworks. We got to come back to who we are according to the Bible. What you got? Jeremiah 4, 14. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness. He said what? Wash thine heart from wickedness. My sisters that's walking out, you got to wash your mind from wickedness. Fourth of July is not your custom, sweetheart. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> you was terrified when you seen that flag, red, white, and blue in the 60s. You was terrified when they was coming and raping you. You was terrified, but now all of a sudden it's cool. Let's go get the red, let's wear our red, white, and blue. But you was terrified. These people been doing all this destruction to us. And we forget about it, man. Read what you got. Oh, Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? He said, how long should these vain thoughts lie within you? to think that this is a day for you, my sister. Why are you going in there and spending your last dollar, spending your stimulus check on 4th of July? On fireworks to pop. Why are you doing that, sis? They giving us the crumbs of this earth. They didn't give us reparations. We've been asking for reparations for over 400 years. They said, my man right here, they said, we ain't got the money to give all the blacks and Hispanics reparations for what they did to us. They don't have that, but all of a sudden, COVID-19 hit, now they got $1,200 to give to every American. Jeez. Now they just found a trillion dollars laying at the bottom of the bank in New York. Oh, it's a trillion dollars right here. You brothers and sisters are getting the crumbs of the earth and you going, you running to give it back to them. Read what you got, officer. Psalm 106.35, but we're mingled among the heathen. What are you doing? Mingled among the heathen Read. and learned their works. And we doing what? And learned their works. Read. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. He said they served their idols, idols which are a snare unto you. This is a snare unto you, black man, black woman. You think it's funny? Ain't nothing sweet out here. You're the only one laughing. You're the only nation out here laughing and thinking something is funny. But you got to understand, my black man, my black sister, then understand you are Israelite according to the Bible. And you got to put some damn clothes on and respect yourself. Tell your wife to put some clothes on and respect yourself. That's what we got to do. 
we got to do this. Leviticus 19.17. This is what we got to do. Because if we love each other, we're going to tell each other the truth. If you love me, I'm expecting you to tell me the truth. Where I'm marrying it. Read what you got. Leviticus 19.17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What the Bible say? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You telling me your mama and your daddy pastor never taught you that? Don't hate your brother in your heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You should do what? Rebuke thy neighbor. Maybe they had a highlighter and missed that. It said maybe you should rebuke your neighbor. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. So anybody you see walking in the tent. You should tell them, hey, bro, 4th of July is not in the Bible. Right. That's sin according to the Bible. Christ said, come out of her. Don't be a part of her sins. Because these same people that had you in slavery for 400 years don't give a crap about you. Matter of fact, when they get home and get drunk, they're going to talk about you. They're going to talk about you. These ignorant Negroes ain't learned yet. But you seeing a whole nother black man stand up on his feet. That's right. You seeing the sons of God stand up on his feet and we coming back with the true word of God. What you've been perverting, that you got in your head and been perverted for all these years. You got no parts in this. No parts in this. What you got, Officer Reed? The book of Psalm 106, 40. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. And so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. He said, because we want to celebrate 4th of July, the wrath of the Lord is kindled against his people. Because we want to celebrate the 4th of July. Now you wonder why we getting shot down in the streets. You wonder why we in the ghettos. The worst parts of, of, of every hood is because we, celebrate, we keep celebrating this 4th of July, this Christmas, this Thanksgiving, this Memorial Day. Nothing that has nothing to do with us. And you letting these kids, you letting, you letting the oppressor teach your damn kids? Teach. Our people bugged out, man. Read right what you got. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. What did he do? And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. Where are we at right now? In the hand of the heathen. Now we in the hand of the heathen. Give me that uh, four and six, group four and six. Bring it you know up. what I'm talking about? Give me that. We're going to come right back. He said he gave us into the hand of the heathens. How did we get over here in America? We got over here on cargo slave ships. You was the fireworks at one time, sister. Bring it out. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. You was that cargo that came over here. They was buying and selling you like they selling bottle rockets in there. They was buying and selling you blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans like they selling bottle rockets inside the tent. Matter of fact, they had a whole setup just like that. Buying and selling your kids. And we in here uh, uh, buying fireworks. Read what you got. Baruch 4, verse 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved God to wrath. This is the understanding of the scriptures. We were sold to the nations, not that he can destroy all of us, but because we moved God to wrath in our ignorance. And now celebrating these false, uh, uh, false holidays. They got nothing to do with the Bible. So this is all we trying to do. Give me uh, Galatians 4. Give me Galatians 4. You know what I want? 16. Galatians 4 to 16. We about to shut it down. We just came out here to give you the good news. This is the good news, black man, black woman. <laughs> Guess what? The white man, the white woman, you are going into captivity. That's right. That's the good news. That's right. He's going the Lord of the Lord of the heavens, the God of Israel, is going to repay these people what they did to us double Teach. this is what this is the good news read what you got galatians 4 16 am i therefore become your enemy uh -huh. because i tell you the truth the scriptures say have i become your enemy my sister right here because we tell y'all the truth we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.